After the Apocalypse is just one of those books that just didn't fully come together. Ah, ah. After the Apocalypse is a short story collection written by author Maureen McHugh and it deals with literally what the world will look like during and after the Apocalypse. The description of this book on Goodreads.com literally says the apocalypse was yesterday, these stories are today. So this is the description that really pulled me into this book. I was thinking I was going to read a whole bunch of Book of Eli and I Am Legend type stories. And boy was I mistaken. Before I talk about all the things that I disliked about this book, we're going to talk about the good first. My favorite story of this entire collection is the first one which is called The Naturalist and it deals with zombies. I'm always excited to see authors take age-old concepts such as vampires, aliens, and werewolves and really put their stamp on them and make them their own. Mickey really does that with the zombies in this first story. One thing that was really dope about these zombies is that they could communicate with each other by huddling up and bobbing their heads in unison. Tasting like some pork chops. Oh, I did. I used to be a vegan. Now I chase humans on the weekend. Homie, I'm heat seeking. I done loved up the day and caught a human on the creeping. I'm about to make a fool move because the zombie mouth leaking. Once I grip the fat on the back, I bite that shoulder and I'm leaving. <laughs> We eat people so you humans need to learn up. What they wearing, son? I ain't concerned up. It's lunchtime and it's smelling like some Now the zombies in this story are pretty fast, but it's hard out here when you're running after people trying to bite them. You can't catch everybody. three types of survivors in every zombie story. The first are the people who get that PTSD and they can't adjust to their zombie lifestyle and they lose their minds. Oh, oh. Now the second type of survivor are the ones who manage to maintain some semblance of moral fiber but they realize quickly that they have to kill in order to survive. You a zombie out there, I'm gonna shoot you, stab you, turn your bit around, and then die down! Well, preferably shot. Thelma, get my gun. Lastly, there's the third type of survivor who loses all humanity and becomes a new type of monster. McHugh does an excellent job of displaying a character like this in the naturalist story. Zombies? Humans? Damn! Okay, so you say that you're having problems at home and you're not seeing eye to eye, correct? Have you tried making her waffles? So let's move on to the things that I did not like about this book. Initially, none of these stories are remotely apocalyptic except for the zombie story. When you think apocalypse, you think about robots enslaving mankind. You think about Goku fighting Frieza. You think about the four horsemen. You think about a group of aliens in the spaceship aiming a death ray at Earth saying, You have ten minutes to kiss your loved ones goodbye before we destroy your planet. I got none of that. These stories in and of themselves are just random events. We don't know why they happen. We don't know when they happen. There's a story about somebody detonating bombs at Baltimore's Inner Harbor and everybody has to evacuate the city, but we don't know who did it. We don't know why he did it. And you're just left after reading it like, what the hell did I just read? There's a story about a sculptor who creates lifelike baby dolls for families who have lost children. And I'm like, what am I reading? What is this? What does this have to do with the end of the world? 
for the most part, these stories are extremely underwhelming. They could be chopped up to random acts of terrorism, creep life, or just unfortunate events. But none of these, except for the zombie story, give the reader an apocalyptic feel. So overall, this book was underwhelming and unapocalyptic. I'm going to give it about a 5 out of 10. So are you going to read after the apocalypse? Did you already read after the apocalypse? Did you like it, love it, or hate it? Am I right? Am I wrong? Comment below. Also, I can't forget about the rest of the GMB team. Go to goodnewsbaltimore.org to see what's happening on that website. I got to thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Tell your family. Tell your friends. We got more movie reviews coming your way. I said we got more book reviews coming your way. I said we got more random stuff coming your way. I'm in the bathroom.